Do you guys feel when it comes to watches that uh, presentation and box is important to you? Uh, I don't personally, I don't find it that much important. But when a watch is a bit more pricier, then the, I think they, they should in de definitely invest and make it more presentable. Uh, for example, the Mega Moon watch, Speedmaster Professional, they updated their watch box and their watch box is huge and super cool uh, I think I feel that those watch boxes will sell itself without the watch for some top dollars today I have a spinnaker watch and this is a spinnaker watch with one huge box and to give you a size reference uh, this is uh, this is normal spinnaker watch box and um, I want to give you some more specific references. Yeah, this is my little Spyderco knife. But yeah, this is the best size reference I think I have. As this, this is the normal uh, Spinnaker watch box you get when you buy. And this one here, this one is huge. And that's because it houses Spinnaker Cahill. And uh, Spinnaker Cahill is one of their more price here watches so today uh, this is the outer box this is a cardboard uh, outer box so I'm gonna toss that so you have it uh, here this cardboard stuff and uh, this way we have protection pad and uh, this here inside is a wooden box so I'm gonna remove it just without all the clutter um, but I think that if you're gonna charge a bit more for a watch this is how you should do it and this is a super fancy wooden box and it's not high gloss this is a matte black finish but still nice I, I, I'm yet to have a watch with this nice box and here you can see the main sail will go here a little foam uh, and of course we have a watch I have a poor lighting here so I'm gonna use my little EDC flashlight and I always keep telling guys that EDC flashlights are very important uh, and I use them all the time so yeah this is the watch this is the keyhole uh, you get here a little nice needle strap and I took this needle out of it and super uh, and here a little spring bar tool but uh, let me just show you the needle this is a super heavy duty and ballistic nylon uh, and it's not just a, a cheap one. it feels very sturdy and I love the color I always wanted to have a bright orange needle for the summer and this is super cool so yeah here is a watch I'm just gonna take it out of the box uh, I, I, I already took it out of the box so I just want to show you the presentation part uh, so has a nice little pillow and uh, this is uh, like a full weather pure weather and you, here down there you have a paperwork and stuff like that I think uh, there's nothing inside so so yeah this is the box I'm gonna remove the box well maybe I will keep it here and here's the watch so yeah this is here's the watch and uh, this is a spinnaker Cahill 42 mil a uh, full size everything full package and I'm gonna put it on my wrist and I'm gonna take you outside to give you some nice wrist shots 
Uh, and today on my wrist, I've been wearing uh, this watch. This is a Spinnaker Cahill midsize. This is a 38 millimeter Cahill, and um, I just love this color combo. There are many different color combinations, so if you don't like this particular color combination or this one, uh, I will put a link in the description box so you can check out uh, this one, and I will put a link for this one. And uh, this being a bit more, bit pricier Spinnaker, I wanna give you a. Uh, there is a discount code of 30% off, but it's not mine. Uh, go uh, check out Aaron Dunlap channel, YouTube channel, and uh, Watch Addict channel, I believe. Uh, they have some sort of uh, discount codes. You can get 30% off this watch. So uh, if you want to get it a bit cheaper, I think it's a great deal, uh, especially with the discount code. And... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take off my spinnaker midsize, which works excellent on my normal wrist. It's not a big wrist. And put this spinnaker key heel. I gotta say, I like my dial watches to be a bit larger, a bit more substantial on the wrist. And this one it definitely is. So yeah, I'm going outside and I'm taking you guys with me. Sometimes, sometimes polos don't do justice to a watch and sometimes even video doesn't do justice to a watch but uh, I think when you take it outside with the natural lighting uh, it's pretty much close to the real deal to your eyes so I don't have uh, some fancy high-end equipment but I hope this will help you uh, see the watch in its true light outside and it's super comfortable on the wrist. The band is a bit stiff yet, but it will get worn in and it'll get soft. That's how it is with the leather bands. But I just want to give you the feel of the watch. And it has that a domed crystal. So it has a little bit of a clear, uh, which is super nice uh, in real life. But it's a nightmare for cameras. Sorry guys, I had to bring it in. The wind was killing me and uh, we don't want to have that strong windy noise inside. So yeah, uh, this is the Cahill watch and uh, EDC Gunner, what's the bezel action on this one? Well, let's see. It's super nice. You can love that noise. It just, that this noise uh, just tells you it means means business this watch means business uh, and uh, even the bezel this one this bezel is even smoother it's very smooth uh, has that little coin edge on the side of it we'll show you that in a second but it's ju it's just it just means business and let me show you the the bezel action on the orange ray uh, it's hard. Orange ray is notoriously hard to grip it, but uh, the bezel action, bezel action on this keel, it's super easy to turn, and there's no play whatsoever, and the, the bezel just means business, and that's not the only cool thing about the bezel. Uh, well, first that you see on this angle here. That the crystal really uh, it just goes a little bit upwards above the crystal and it's a slightly doomed crystal uh, but the bezel it's super nice and uh, it's a shiny bezel it's not just a run-of-the-mill aluminum insert bezel which will get scratched easily this one has that I don't know this is probably some kind of a plastic coating over the uh, aluminum insert so super nice and uh, also another cool thing about the bezel uh, this is actually illuminated bezel and uh, the bezel glows in the dark as well okay I hope you guys can see this I don't have a super fancy high-end camera uh, but uh, I hope you can see the bezel 
the glow in the dark on the bezel as well. So it's a super cool and uh, it just makes you, it gives you that little extra bit of a smile on the face. And of course the indices in the womb you can see the color of that as well. So it's a super nice dye watch. So that being said, uh, would you die with it? Uh, me personally, I'm not a diver. Uh, I just like watches. I like dive watches. Uh, and I cannot tell you anything about that. But this this watch is rated, water resistant, 200 meters. Has a screw down crown, screw down case back, and has a super loom. So I guess it fits the bill. It's a dive watch. And also comes on that nice, nicely orangey. Let me just grab grab this nice orange uh, needle strap. So I guess you could dive it. Uh, I know I don't know. I, I I'm just being honest with you guys. I'm not a diver, uh, and I the the biggest depth I take my watches are like five meters, and that's my what I can breathe and without equipment when I go to the seaside and that's it so uh, but uh, the watches are cool I uh, owe the rage this time and uh, yeah so while I have it on my wrist yet I want to talk a bit about the feel uh, this watch it's very feels very nice on the wrist uh, but I want to talk about the band this is a suede black band and uh, it says waterproof, but uh, it has it's kind of rubberized. And I always give praise to Spinnaker about the about the bands and ba uh, watch bands. It's super soft, thick, sturdy leather, uh, and uh, it could definitely be look on the place on many many other. Uh, more expensive watches than this one uh, um, other than that uh, you can this is not the only color combination you can get with the Spinnaker key heel uh, I will put a link in the description box to the website to the Spinnaker key heel watches to this one and to the other variants so they even have uh, variants with the wide dial they even have a, they have of course they have a classical uh, black uh, and white charcoal dial with the uh, white stainless steel case but this one is a bit quirky and um, it's a bit different uh, this watch reminds me of Lamborghini Lamborghini did I say that right um, I don't know uh, <laughs> did I say that right Lamborghini uh, yeah um, just because of the black and orange combos uh, and one of my favorite Lamborghinis is Murcielago and um, this one kind of reminds me of that uh, just because of the black and orange and I like black and orange uh, would I wear this watch every day I would probably prefer something bluish uh, something classical like black and white which they, they have but this one is a bit quirky it's not your everyday watch and this orange uh, the wound dots and the orange hands they definitely pop on your wrist and when, when I was wearing this with the, I usually wear uh, jeans and black t-shirt and when I throw this one on it really pops and adds that little cool dimension uh, on this one I will also wear it on this one I haven't yet wore it on the NATO uh, because I found this really comfortable but I will definitely try it on the NATO strap uh, let me just show you how it may look like uh, but I like it so uh, enough about that let's just talk more about details on this watch so the first thing that really um, pops to me when it comes to Spinnaker watches uh, of course after this orangey indices and this orange is uh, when I look at it on my through my camera they appear more yellow than they are really are so uh, this is like orange color like when you grab an orange and that 
basically this is the color so I don't know on my camera it appears more yellow but I uh, just want to give you that uh, so you know uh, truly pops on this as the, the way the spinnaker do the dials and I'm not talking about the looms and the uh, framed loom dots and everything else I'm talking about this textured dial uh, let me just try to find my flashlight to show you uh, but I absolutely love the texture dial and I think it's there's nothing it's not much money to make an interesting dial I I believe there's it doesn't cost a lot to make this cool texture dial it doesn't cost a lot to make a sunburst blue electric dial like you see on Orient watches but it's it truly makes the watch stand out and it shows that attention to details and uh, and another dimension to the, to the watch uh, this watch is powered it says automatic and this is this is a Miola moment here uh, this is a Miola uh, 8 to 15 I believe it's just basic Miola that every micro other other micro brand will put in their watch so nothing special but it's a highly reliable moment the watch is very accurate uh, also if you are that if you want to up to the seconds you can adjust the, uh, the movement as well I'm not that guy and it's pretty accurate off the box so I'm very happy uh, and uh, it's just good reliable I hate the word workhorse movement but it tr truly is so speaking of movements uh, you all know the, how the Miona movement looks like Spinnaker did here they uh, took the rotor and painted it in blue and they signed it also on the case back here on the crystal and case back they have a little Spinnaker logo uh, also sad says here uh, this is Spinnaker SP033 water resistant 200 meters stainless steel uh, this is the old stainless steel case but it's it is PVD coated it's uh, iron plating PVD coating I don't know the technology but I can tell you that today's uh, technology of coating these watches is far better than the technology back in the days uh, um, but that being said I'm, I'm always wary of scratching up so uh, if you if you don't if you are just like me wary of scratching your watch and it's showing maybe you should get a stainless steel case without any kind of a PVD plating but I think this is uh, super cool and here on the side has a spinnaker uh, says spinnaker and it's one of the things uh, I don't like about this watch and it's one of the things I don't like about any watch uh, Invicta does it, Squawet does it, even I have a Mont Blanc watch that does it and whatever the watch is uh, I don't like it I prefer it just I feel it's too gimmicky so it's one of the things I don't like about this watch uh, also the crystal here is mineral crystal and slightly domed um, so it adds a nice uh, dimension to the watch when you look at it it's, it really makes it pop but uh, it's also a bit raised so uh, you might be wary of not scratching your watch so uh, what else the bezel I already talked about the bezel here is that coin edging I, I was telling you about it so it makes it very easy to grip uh, it's super smooth bezel I love the action it just feels like a precision instrument it feels like a safe when you open it in a safe I love it also I mentioned the bezel let me just try to give you has that little here protection so I hate when I when the watch has a scratched up bezel and this is a perfect protection has that little kind of I don't know is this plastic or something but it will definitely protect the bezel has a protective and also the bezel goes in the dark like I showed you so it's a super cool uh, thing uh, the crown here uh, has a standard spinnaker logo uh, this is of course screw in crown 
it takes a quite a bit turns to screw it so you adjust your watch and you screw it back in but see how many times do you need to screw it before it's fully screwed in some watches have two or three turns and it's done this one definitely has more and I kind of feel it's more sealed up so it gives me that nice extra peace of mind when it comes to watches 22 mil aglet uh, and uh, here has a signed buckle and uh, yeah this is it if you have any questions about this watch feel free to ask in the comment section uh, for all the other specs and all the other stuff I don't have my uh, measuring instruments here uh, check out the links in the description box you will find the pricing specs and all the info you need to know uh, also check out the uh, Aaron Dunlap watch addict channel and some other channels Google 30% um, off code and with that 30% off code uh, you will you can get this watch I think it's it's worth the money so yeah uh, this is not your everyday watch this is not Seiko uh, this is not Orient and this is a micro brand that's really uh, trying hard to step up their game and uh, earn their place among the lots of other micro brands in this watch world uh, when someone asks me what watch should I get under 500 bucks I always recommend Seiko and it is a cool thing but if you're a collector chances are you already have Seiko SKS chances are you already have Orient Ray or some other Seiko turtles and whatnot and you want to add something different something quirky with the cool great movement from Sitsen and they use some uh, some of the models use Seiko movements like the Spinnaker Spence I reviewed they have Seiko um, an H35A moment uh, and uh, this is that watch that you want to see uh, a lot of people wearing these watches and that's what makes it cool and this is what makes it uh, a bit more uh, interesting and especially if you are into collecting watches and you want to have cool summer fun diver I suggest you check out Spinnaker. The quality is up there. Uh, they are they are nothing better than uh, other watches, but I know there are some other watches that are far less uh, lesser than this one, and they charge more money. So this is a cool, funny. Uh, <laughs> it's not funny. It's a cool, fun watch. It's a cool beater uh, and uh, something different in your collection that really can stand out there are many other different color combos so uh, check out for yourself decide for yourself and uh, this was EDC Gunner thank you for watching and see you on the next one